Welcome back, guys. So today we are going to be talking about code switching. Hmm? Yes, we are. Yes. Hmm? What is it and why do we do it? Yes. So we hope you tune in and listen. Indeed. Indeed. Hope you enjoy. All right. Well, they're like, I have to make them feel more comfortable when they like adjust themselves and they try to like sound their, their version of whatever they think black is. It's really awkward. Just be yourself. I thought that was just a white thing. Black people do it too. I got in my car in Englewood. This old black dude came out of nowhere. He goes, hello, sir. How are you? I'm good. How, how are you doing? He's like, I'm fine this evening. It's top of the morning to you. Like, top of the morning. 30 at night. What the hell are you talking about? Uh, but for those that don't know, if you're like me and you have no idea what code switching is, uh, code switching means that you modify one speech behavior appearance to adapt to different social cultural norms. Code switching refers to the practice of shifting between different languages, dialects, um, or registers of language in different contexts of social situations. It is a common phenomenon in multilingual, multicultural communities, and it can serve a variety of functions, such as signaling identity, establishing social relationships, or expressing solidarity. So yeah, code switch. We all do this shit, god damn it. I don't, I don't know, not one. Hmm. I said we definitely do. Yeah, I don't know, not one black man in this world who who who, who wants to be successful that don't know how to code switch. Yeah. It's skill, and it's a talent, and it's something you need. It's an ingredient in success, in the success pie. Where do you think we get it from? Like Slavery. Yeah. Trying to fit in in this motherfucker, this society and shit. Since day one, the black man been trying to figure out how the white man got so much power. Mm -hmm. And not just that, but we also do it out of fear. Out of fear of being ostracized, ostracized from the white people if we need to be a part of their society because we need to attain a certain goal. If, you know, we, if we need to be around them, we don't want to scare them off or we don't want them we don't want them to look at us a certain way if we was to get too comfortable with them, mm -hmm. you know, make, make ourselves look more appealing, you know, for them, you know, got to fix our hair, perms and all that stuff. Yeah. Wearing our natural hair, natural hair, you know? you know, folks were trying to get jobs back then, you know what I'm saying? And they knew that the white people, they looked down upon just niggas and everything that had to do with a nigga. And, and I wonder how white people even look at niggas, I'm sorry. Look at black people who do those things to try to fit in with with whites. You know, do they do they do they give them the thumbs up? Like, yeah, good job. You know, or are they like, damn, like we already put you through so much. Now you're doing this. <laughs> and and white, you know, white people they do it too. They do it badly. But uh, yeah, don't code switch. <clears throat> don't code switch to try to fit in with us. Yeah, I feel like white people have no need to code switch. Yeah. You know, and y'all don't know how to code switch because y'all don't have a, y'all never had that, that ancestry survival need exactly. to code switch. Mm -hmm. exactly. You know, it's it's not embedded in y'all genes to, 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 to be something else. And not just that, you can tell it's not embedded in them genes because when they do do it, they do it to more fit in and take over what they see of that other person doing. A, a, a white person version of code switching to what black people is inhabiting black culture and a black intellect. I mean, you know, black talk and how we do shit and it right. doesn't look good. <laughs> and it's not, it's, and not just that, it's like in, in, in all original alert and all originality, you know, we talk how we talk, you know, we're, how we how we're comfortable, you feel me? So it's like, mm -hmm. you know, it's to some extent, you know, it is a mask, you know, but it's it not, is a mask. It is a mask, you know? Like, yeah, we be in ourselves, but, you know, the way we switch up words and stuff, you know, we want to talk more proper and actually pronounce every word and everything, you know. Some people but, don't deserve to see that part of you. Yeah, and that too, you know. The world, you know, you, if you your workplace, the people you live with sometimes, even your family, you know. But if you want to get in debt with just with the white people, though, it's just, it's, it's, it's sad that we have to do so. I believe I think that we shouldn't have to code switch around them, but I do see. I see. I feel like there's um there's like a double edged sword when you code switch for white people too. I will say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They they understand what's going on sometimes, 
and they know, you know, if they catch you talking or being a certain kind of way with your with your other friends or certain shit like that, and they see like, oh, he doesn't act like that around us, you know, that could not that could might not play in your favor. Yeah, or just any any all you know people that's around you, you know, in general that see you in that way. You feel me? Yeah, you know. Um, but go ahead, go ahead. But yeah, white folks need to understand that we don't code switch to fit in with y'all. We don't code switch to try to make y'all feel really comfortable. We code switch to make us feel comfortable. And we code switch to obtain something that y'all have Mm -hmm. not to be with you (laughs) you know maybe you know but if we're trying to be friends then i'm not cold switching so if i'm cold switching understand that i'm doing this for a reason i'm not and i'm not here to be friendly with you you know Mm -hmm. but uh but but, um and, and, and not just that like we shouldn't we shouldn't have to code switch in general. We shouldn't have to code switch. You know what I mean? In all reality. We should just be ourselves and the world should accept us for who we are and not judge us, you know. You Look know at the to... NBA, for example. How it has dramatic dr- dramatically changed when it comes to the fashion, how they can uh carry themselves as far as like their antics on the court. You know, it's they they restricted them, the players, and it's only really the you know black players. You know, what I'm saying black athletes, mm-hmm. and they can't show their you know their own individual swagger no more because of the restrictions of the NBA. Certain certain clothes you can't wear, certain celebrations you can't do. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And it, and it you know it couldn't really mean nothing, but it meant something to you, but to them inappropriate. I feel like that's a form of the forcing you to code switch. So that's you know what I'm saying. So when we do it, we do it optionally. It's it's we we ain't trying to get to that forcefully. You know what I'm saying. We're not trying to have you tell me, hey, you got dreadlocks. Can you keep them up? You know what I'm saying up or can you keep? No, we gonna already have that done. You know, we're we're not gonna expect you. Hey, can you you can you not uh talk so use so much slang in your work. No, we're gonna already be doing that because we know you expect that of us. Yeah, express <laughs> ourselves freely. You know, yeah, yeah, we can't. You know, there's no expressing freely if you want to get somewhere in this world. Mm-hmm. Why? Because white folks have it all, sadly. But no, nah, man. It's, you know, now it's time to say fuck all that. You know, express ourselves freely. You know, it's more so what we do with it. Like say, like you know, one, one like Marshawn Lynch. You know what I mean? From Oakland, you know, but like, you know, I like that he be himself, you know what I mean? But I feel like they respect him because what he did with his money, you know what I mean? The fact that he, you know, how he was using his money at the end of the day, you know, you're going to have to respect that. But you feel me? Be yourself, you know what I mean? Yeah, and that's what this channel's for, too. You know, motherfuckers who do watch and, and you know, we, we, we build small, but at the same time, we here to be ourselves. Yeah. You know, we, we, we I, I don't know about you, but... I got a cold switch all throughout the day. And I know you, I actually know, I know you definitely got a cold switch because we both black men in this goddamn world. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But right. you know my individual situation. But yeah, you know. So yeah, it's just, it's just I, I, I'm, I hope motherfuckers just be mindful of why black folks cold switch. Yeah. And the meaning behind everything that we do is, is you know. Mm-hmm. And come to this channel, you know, and don't code switch. Be yourself. You feel me? Yeah, if you come here, yeah, talk your shit. Talk your shit. Talk your all shit. All right. Even Back. about us. All right. Yeah. You want to talk about how uh, how ugly Trey is around this motherfucker? You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? You go ahead and say it. You want to mm-hmm. talk about how, how 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 crazy I'm talking? Mm-hmm. And you and know. It, yeah, yeah. And how how this nigga Dreads ain't longer than mine. He wish wish they were. You know all that good stuff. How he wish. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Than me. You put know, it all in the comments. Put on glasses, you know. <laughs> you know, his glasses ain't even real, y'all. Them reading glasses. He ain't even reading shit. Nigga don't know that. Man, there's two kings in this bitch. All right. <laughs> he out this motherfucker. <laughs> I have to go drink some oat milk, nigga.